squash, potatoes, plants, and now more often, equipment. People here at Terranova Community Garden say thieves have been making off with all kinds of their hard work. Lately, it's escalated. They're actually taking plants, like zucchini plants, the plants themselves. So we find that to be a little bit tacky, if we want to put it that way. She's not alone. After the COVID, it's getting worse and worse every year. Cynthia Chu says someone stole her hanging baskets along with poles to help support growing plants. We have three, three gardeners, me, my friend, and the other one over there. So more than 150 garden poles. They, they cannot use their bare hand to take it out, right? They're not taking one or two, they're taking more than 150. This was the garden where the tomato cages were taken from. The executive director of Urban Bounty, which looks after the busy green space, says 38 tomato cages and whole plots of flowers and potatoes have vanished. So it seems like there's much more of an effort to actually scope out what's here during the day and then come back and actually do some rather large excavation at night and removal of, of things at nighttime. Creamer says she reported the June theft to police. Terra Nova Community Garden is located in an ecologically protected area and a rural public park. The city's mayor says that makes it tough to add special lighting or security cameras. It just seems so brazen and unnecessary, frankly, so it's too bad. Mayor Malcolm Brody says they can't install security cameras because of privacy concerns and motion sensor lighting could affect plants. It really is difficult uh, as a problem to deal with, but we are seeing what we can do and we're working with Urban Bounty and anybody else that's uh, volunteering. Some gardeners here are hoping that bringing some public attention to the issue, the thefts will stop. Just respect the gardener. We put so many effort on it. Yeah, if they want, they, they can ask. We are happy to share. Mira Baines, CBC News, Richmond.